We have 23 rather warm degrees for you this morning at 640. There's a new member of the News 11 family to report this morning, and she comes from the Zavan clan. Barry Zavan's granddaughter, Maritza Elise Giorgio, was born at 1245 yesterday <laughs> to Barry's daughter, Shonda, and her husband, Bill Giorgio. Maritza weighed in at 8 pounds, 11 ounces at Midway Hospital. Ooh, what a beautiful little yeah, baby. Yeah, what a cutie. Thank you. And if you think Barry looks too young to be a grandfather, you're wrong because this is his second. <laughs> this what? is his second grandchild. Thanks oh, a look. lot, John. Here, Marty, you take Ooh. two Tell me, is, this, is this the real Do I get thing? A half or is this cigar? Chocolate. I mean, that's this is right. Well, oh, thank you very it is much. chocolate. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's Super. Great. That's and great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. You say that name wonderfully. Well, thank you. I think it's a lovely name. It thank is beautiful. You. Really yeah. do. Thank you very much. We have some lovely weather this morning. But, and there's always a little but. Oh, dear. <laughs> yeah, there's some freezing rain around, and uh, we could get some this morning, uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. So we had half an inch of snow the past mm. 24 hours, mm -hmm. 23 degrees right now, cloudy skies, and it looks as though uh, the light snow is going to continue for a while. 23, 71% relative humidity. The uh, pressure right now, 29.62, and it's uh, going to be rising pretty soon. Wind chill of zero, winds northwest 14 miles an hour. Normal high and low for this date are 20 and 2, 53 back in 1942, 31 below in 1935. We had half an inch of moisture, as I mentioned, the past 24 hours at the airport. 7.42 will be the sunrise time this morning. We'll set it 10 minutes after 5 tonight. The view from uh, our radar this morning, a live radar, does show some uh, scattered precipitation mostly to the east of the Twin Cities now as it's continued to uh, fall uh, really overnight, but uh, we expect that it's going to continue to drift farther south and east as high pressure moves in from the northwest. And our view from space this morning does show the cloud cover over Minnesota, and that's uh, beginning to clear now out in the Dakotas. But in the southern part of North Dakota and in uh, parts of South Dakota, there is some freezing drizzle, and there are travelers advisories out for southwest Minnesota for some freezing drizzle there, but it could happen all over 11 country uh, before the morning's over and then uh, uh, move off to the east as temperatures begin to drop later in the day. Uh, tomorrow, we expect uh, another Alberta clipper to be uh, forming out in British Columbia, and uh, which is strange since it's an Alberta clipper. By the time it reaches Alberta, it will be an Alberta clipper. But we have the storm which is to the north of that and uh, could bring in some snow showers to us uh, by the weekend, but uh, temperatures are going to be much colder as high pressure begins to settle in here, and the leading edge of the cold uh, goes from a storm center, which will be up over upstate New York, back to the south of us, and back into uh, Nebraska. Our forecast for today, then, is for periods of light snow, windy, turning cold, steady, then falling temperatures, winds northwest 20 to 30 miles an hour. Some blowing and drifting snow tonight, winds and uh, colder temperatures, 6 below to 0 for lows, winds north northwest 24 to 28. Then tomorrow, partly sunny and cold, slowly diminishing winds, 10 to 14 for highs, winds northwest 18 to 22. The 11 outlook for Saturday is for partly clear skies and 22, clearing and uh, 20 on Sunday, colder on Monday and 14. Mm -hmm. Nothing quite like the last Arctic, though. Thanks. No. Okay. No. Thanks, Bert. Thanks, Pierre. Thank Steve has already smoked his chocolate cigar. I'll do the same. <laughs> we have uh, 23 degrees uh, right now with some snow. Periods of light snow is the forecast today. Windy, turning cold as an Arctic blast from the past moves in from the north. Steady temperatures then falling this afternoon. Winds northwest 20 to 30 miles an hour. Tonight, windy and colder. Flurries with blowing snow. Six below to zero for our lows. Winds northwest at 24 to 28. You bundle up on that icy throne this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Partly sunny and cold. Uh, mostly, uh, mostly diminishing winds is what it will be tomorrow with uh, 10 to 14 for our highs. Winds northwest 18 to 22. The 11 outlook for Saturday is partly cloudy skies and 22, Sunday some clearing and 20, Monday colder with 14 degrees but still clear skies. So it's not going to be quite as bad as it was. Before. You are a lucky man. Okay. We happen to have a little extra time this morning and as any proud grandparent would want to do, you can brag about your new granddaughter for us. What she, does she look? She looks she beautiful. The most beautiful <laughs> granddaughter in the history of the world. <laughs> How's that for starters? Anyway. No, she's wonderful. And she weighed 8 pounds, 11 ounces. Not so little. You know, she's wearing a size age 2 dress now already. <laughs> great. Well, that saves That's having to buy very, very small baby clothes. And congratulations <laughs> to Shonda and Bill. Yes, too. and yeah. thank you yeah. for this. I've already um, had the end of it. I have to admit. <laughs> this morning it tasted good. Did you did you see the picture of us out there? I was like yeah. this. <laughs> and finally tonight, a special congratulations goes out to News 11 Entertainment Editor Barry Zavan and his family. Barry's daughter, Shonda Gerjou, has given birth to an 8-pound, 11-ounce baby girl. Her name is Maritza Elise. She was born yesterday at Midway Hospital. Best wishes to Grandma and Grandpa Zavan and Shonda, Bill, and Maritza. Look at, look at Barry sitting there eyeballing all that hair. <laughs> Darn, I missed that. Let's go back over to John and Marty. Okay, that's just fine. The wind has calmed down a little bit.